We are making the rounds on location at New York's Madison Square Garden. I'm Brian Campbell alongside Dan Raphael for the Vladimir Klitschko. Bryant Jennings weigh in. Dan, for the heavyweight title at the world's most famous arena, but we saw the two match up. What stood out to you from seeing that? Well, I tell you what, Brian Jennings to me, he looked calm, he looked poised. He didn't buy any emotion on his face. He looked in great shape. I mean, he's ready, but the question is, everybody can be ready, but you're facing Vladimir Klitschko, not just a regular heavyweight, and Vladimir, as usual, in fantastic condition, just looked dead in his eyes. He's ready to fight. He understands what's going on. He says he doesn't pay attention to the history, he wants to take care of business on Saturday night. He's done it 17 times before in this title reign, looking for number 18. I think he gets it. We haven't seen Klitschko in the U.S. We haven't seen him in New York since both times. 2008 was the last time. We're seeing him here against an upstart, unbeaten American in Jennings. A lot of the categories, it would be really hard to favor him. One thing he does has is a sneaky three-inch reach advantage. He's also a, a good size, 6'3", muscular, athletic. If any, if there's any path to victory for him, how does Bryant Jennings pull the upset? Well, he did. He does have the, the slight reach advantage, which is surprising because he is shorter than Vladimir Klitschko. But, you know, you, you can throw away the physical attributes in my mind as far as it's something like the reach. Because against Vladimir Klitschko, he knows how to use his reach. He's got the best jab in the business. He uses it like a weapon. And, you know, look, I have nothing bad to say about Brian Jennings, but he's a little green behind the ears. He's coming off two victories that got in this fight. Arthur Spilka, who was undefeated, not the biggest name, not the most talented guy, but a good victory for him. And a split decision with Mike Perez, where he fought here also at Madison Square Garden, where he didn't look particularly good. It was a hard fight for him. He kind of seemed to fade late in the fight. Now he's stepping up. It's like going from basically double A to the big leagues. And that's a hard, hard move to make when you're not just fighting a regular big leaguer, you're fighting the best big leaguer. So I don't see how he wins the fight, to be quite honest well, with you. Well, to his credit, he told me in fight week that it's going to come down to one big shot if he's going to be able to land it. Dan, the problem is we haven't seen Klitschko really hurt, tested, or anything in a very long time. Now 39 years old. Uh, he still looks, you know, right at his prime. W what does he have to show you to show you that he isn't taking any steps back? Well, listen, Vladimir's going to go out and do what he wants to do. He told me leading up to the fight in an interview that we did that he said it was going to be like always, domination, the Klitschko way, dominant, and he would end the fight early. You know, you talked about the power of possibly Brian Jennings and he needed to land one big shot. Here's the problem. Brian Jennings is 19-0 with 10 knockouts. He's not the biggest puncher in the world. So... Nobody's really gotten to Vladimir's chin for many, many years. Even a guy like Kubrat Pulov in the last fight. He touched his, he touched his chin. He maybe wilded him ever so briefly. And all of a sudden, next shot, he's knocked out. So, you know, Brian Jennings, I don't think even has that kind of punching power. But we'll see. Dan, plenty of heavyweight luminaries here in, in attendance. Evander Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. You're hearing the Let's Go champ from Shannon Briggs in the background. But, Dan, when we come down to the, the bottom line, your prediction, who wins on Saturday and why? Now, Vladimir Klitschko by knockout sometime before the first half of the fight is over, five, six rounds. I'm going to be right there with you. Klitschko by six-round knockout. But we'll see, you know, of course, well, how it plays out at Madison Square Garden. And be sure to check out the ESPN.com boxing page for post-fight highlights and analysis. And for Dan Raphael, I'm Brian Campbell. Thanks for watching.